my selfie just hit 100 likes. <laughs> 100! If you can believe it, there are some teens and millennials that are just fixated on the number of likes they get on any picture. It's being called the 100 Club. If you're more popular at school, then you'll get more likes on that picture. The concept is simple. Hitting 100 or more likes on a Facebook or Instagram post shows your friends how popular you are. Anything less than 100 likes is considered a poor showing, even embarrassing. Social media has become the new extreme sport. Mm -hmm. We know that getting 100 likes is now created a competition where the prize is that trophy of getting into that exclusive club where you can feel well-liked and popular. What does it do to someone when you're, you're 15 years old and almost anything you can do, you can get a positive response to? I've got a confession to make. Um, I'm addicted to likes on Instagram. Do you like my haircut? You're addicted to likes. Which glasses fit me? You're addicted to likes. Social media has created this new kind of validation for people and this new thing that makes them feel good about themselves. Whether or not that's good or bad will remain to be seen. Ma'am? Hi. I just want to let you know that I'm following you. Like, just giving you an alert. Okay. You don't have to do anything, just know it and enjoy it. Jenna Kingsley is now following you. It's no surprise that like a lot of studies these days have found that millennial generations are drastically more narcissistic than the previous ones. But it's always like this question of, is that because of social media or are we just like, are we obsessed with social media because deep down we're obsessed with ourselves? We take pictures of ourselves, we talk about ourselves, and we continually create this ideal image of ourselves online, which is great if it's actually encouraging self-esteem. But Twenge asserts that this is not actually positive because it turns us inward instead of outward. This is an alien. We know at least that magazines get Photoshop, but if you start seeing your friends do something like this and you don't know that they're doing it, then you start to think that real people look like this.